Okay. Um, good morning. It's Wednesday. I probably have talked about these a little bit. It's something I wanted to do. Um, Jared, yes, remote, can you start cutting these with a keyhole? It's, yeah, I mean, if that's how you want to do it, I can. It's easier if we don't, um, because that is one of the few things we still stop. Um, we stop aging in circles from time to time. Um, Okay. So, have a stock of those, so, so I, it's not going to come with the keyhole unless you want to pay a little extra. No, it's not that. I mean, if you specify you want a keyhole, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll make it with a keyhole. Okay, well, you can specify change. in the comments that you want a keyhole. Yeah, if, sure. yeah, that's, uh, that's, if not, that's I've gonna, never got a keyhole in mine. I used twine on the back of it. But it's an address sign. See how far I can lift it. And so on your sign, um, you'll be able to customize them with your address, and the numbers will be the biggest. Because, you know, like when somebody is looking for your house, they're really looking for the house numbers, not the name. Um, so this will be the biggest, like the 200 or whatever your address numbers are. Now, um, I am going to use um, this pickling white gel stain um, today because I've never used it. And all the ones I've done thus far have been like a darker stain. So I wanted to try the white. And this is a white pine. And for today's giveaway, you can like share. Let's know where you live. Not really. Uh. <laughs> um, I feel like I have one. That just can't. Do you do pineapple on your pizza? Oh. Let's do that. Let's okay. solve this. Um, so and then, order a picture, we'll have one this day. can open right up now. other Let's conversations, but that's what I want you to answer. So like, share, pineapple on pizza. Yes from me, yes, yes from Billy, yes from Tara, yes, yes from uh, Colby. Um, where's BJ? BJ, uh, come see. Pineapple on pizza. Now. <laughs> Do you like pineapple on pizza? Uh, it's not something you know, I like order, sweets. but it is good. Okay, okay, so that's a yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I, I just don't. He's done with me. Bucket yeah. lady said yes. I don't order it though. Sarah likes it. I just, I, I just, it's sweet. People's not sweet. It's not, but it's not that sweet. It's not that sweet. I had a pineapple jalapeno. It's a contrast thing. It works it's great. Oh, Billy, to you've got to go to the Revival Pizza because they have a burger. Did you like yesterday? Yeah, it was amazing. Where is it at? I might do it. In Sterlington. They have a burger called the Big Kahuna. And first of all, the burgers are still the best I've ever had in my life. And that's a big appreciation because huh? I'm very weird about burgers. And the Big Kahuna has pineapple on it. That's what dad got yesterday and he said it was really good. And I thought, I mean, I love the pineapple, so I think it would be good. Mom got a Fred Rogers or something. They're like a 70s, 80s, 90s kind of <laughs> place, whatever. And so they have a, what? You need something too. Anyways, I'm like y'all getting inside for y'all. Hope y'all appreciate this. So we will give two of these away, but they'll be unfinished because it'll be your address. If anybody lives on 200 Hollyhurst, you can have this one. Let us know. Yeah, we were trying to come up with like a random street um, that it was one of ours. So See, Miss Sarah has, I feel like she, she has the same about it, I do. I'm not a fan of pineapple on pizza, but if it has ham and onions, I can deal with it. Like I, I would think it has to have specific other toppings for me to to, to deal with it, if that makes sense. Like, I'd probably I would put it on anything, honestly. Really? But, um, I don't understand the onions and pineapple. That doesn't sound great to me. Ham, I, I think ham. And ham, pineapple. yeah, but the onions and pineapple. But I also don't like raw onions. Another pizza that doesn't make sense to me. I don't think chicken goes. On. Like the bacon cheeseburger pizza, or the excuse me, the chicken, whatever it's well, called. Well, it's just what, what a it? different food. It's not like oh, this is your classic pizza, but like I don't think chicken goes. Y'all, he likes to talk about how open-minded he is. Isn't it hilarious? How he does. So I had a pizza this weekend for the first time from Johnny that was um, barbecue chicken. See, that's what I'm talking about. Barbecue. And it was. Thank you. It's not so good. Okay. Really? Like, 
I was not expecting it to be that good. Maybe it's a mental thing. For me. I ate it, on it for like three days. I think it would taste good. Maybe it's a mental thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it probably is because it's actually Can really we good. agree that Johnny's is the best pizza ever? Oh, no. Oh, oh, so. What do you like more than Johnny's around here? Um, more than Johnny's? Honestly, I you really You seem like, like you're getting ready to give me a list. Like there's not just one. Johnny's pizza. is good, like no doubt. But if I had my pick of pizza out of everything, Domino's. Yes, Domino's <laughs> pizza is so good. I don't um, know who you are. I would are you even serious? say, I'm dead serious. I would even say that I like um, Pizza Hut better than crust. But our Pizza Hut shut down. So um, that's you what we start on Pizza Hut. Um, Um, no, pizza pizza wasn't bad. It was just their hot wings. Or Johnny's is a different type of pizza too. That's like how you're in the mood for Johnny. It's not like you're in the that's mood for pizza. I, like that's what I grew up eating. That was the pizza place we went to. If we went to get pizza, we went to Johnny's. Well, I, also I, too, I don't love it. I'm, I'm sorry. Like Please don't get offended when I say this. The batch of Johnny's is trash. Um, it's not the best. You're right about that. Compared to Sterlington, our Sterlington Johnny's is so consistent. I have never had a bad pizza from there. I agree with you on that. And I also be loving the peach pudding pie. And Corey never wants one. So then I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to eat it by myself. We had a huge announcement. We did not oh, guys, our huge announcement is that, you, so you know, all our prices have gone up recently. They're all going back down. Some of them so good that they're even less than they were before. Yes. So very exciting. When is this happening, Bill? Uh, our higher pricing analysts are readjusting <laughs> everything. They're they're reevaluating right now, it's everything happening right down now, to it is happening right, right now, right now because I actually posted this sign and it's ten dollars less than it would have been yesterday. It's great, yeah. Really so great. um if you want this sign it's twenty nine ninety five. Yesterday it would have been thirty nine ninety five. Disclaimer if you order something and you see it cheaper the next day, this is not retroactive. We're not no. gonna there's no way we can, can yeah, keep we up can't, with that. Um we can't refund you guys. The price, we wish we could. The price is what it's going to be as you order it, but we are dropping prices minute by minute. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm I just using <laughs> some black because I think black is really going to pop on this white. And I was surprised you didn't stain it. You stood me for a look at What did I not stain? That. What is stain? It's, it's just not white. The, the dark stain. And we do have this online, guys. Your girl put it on there all by herself, yeah. so go check it out because we have all my stuff. It makes her look better than everybody here, and that's the goal. And so, that's your goal. Um, Kay, I'm, I'm not trying to pick on you here, but this sounds disgusting. She says she she's not a huge fan of pizza, but when she does eat it, I don't know. I said I don't want the crust made of cauliflower. Is cauliflower pizza a thing? Is that yeah, a it's a thing. It, is. Really? it actually is good. People be like, uh, I've never had. It. But it it really is good. And um, I don't know that you're like, oh, I prefer that over pizza. But if you're trying to eat a little bit better, it's it okay. Still, it's it doesn't taste like diet or anything like that. It's just a better alternative. Um, I'm sorry, Miss Kay. I, I I read that wrong. I called you gross. <laughs> oh, wow. Corey straight up called you guys. Ham, chicken, and pineapple work for me. Um, if I'm not sure why I associate pineapple with ham, so if it if it has ham, I think it would be better. I do. Are you gonna order us pizza? That's what I think about work. Okay, so it's one of those days. Very busy, very busy, very busy. All right, Billy. so y'all, I like to use a sponge brush when I'm when, yeah, when I'm when I'm whenever I'm painting. Um. Oh like letters and numbers because they're it's easier to get around the edges um, you're on a pole for this i'm not no way you sure are we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Uh, no <laughs> doubt people are gonna it's gonna be overwhelming yes yeah, so i'll i'll say that right now um but if, you know what it's a lot of people who used to not like the idea and tried it and they're like oh it's actually good i ain't gonna lie i was one of those people but uh, uh because like when people put fruit in their chicken salad i think it's gross um, I don't like that. I had a chicken salad sandwich in Canada. And I have I had that. Have it's been. not like I straight up won't eat it, but it's just not my favorite. Um, so I was, that's kind of what I associated it with. I'm weird too. I don't like when stuff is supposed to be salty. I don't want it to be sweet. 
but pineapple on pizza is not like that. Um, I'm definitely going to go into it with an open mind today. Uh, I'm very so open and receptive. Um, let's do something else. Y'all, if you haven't already, like, share, let us know. Are you a pineapple on pizza fan? Also, you can always use my code Scarlet30. Are they still going to use my code when these prices are getting slow? They can do it for now. For sure. Oh, wow. Y'all, my code All the promotions are still active. They're still free shipping up to 50. I just um, now thought about this. they got this. emailed uh, codes or if they sign up for text blast, they can use those at this time. Um, don't know how long that's going to be. We don't know how long, long but so now, or who knows? I'm good. sure, though, even if my code goes down, I'll still have a code. Um, so for now, you scroll at 30. Um, so 30% off. And like I said, I just like to use my sponge brush and get into these little grooves. Bitch, like, why am I even playing? Because the sun is going to nobody, and y'all aren't gonna be able to tell on camera. But whatever. It's a technique. It's a technique. All right, and guys, um, Ruby's not bothering us today. As Ruby's our cat that we have here, and she likes to scream at us all day. Oh, uh, we don't know where she is. She usually is here hollering at us. And again, I just chose black because I know it's going to pop on this, especially if you have like a gray siding house or whatever color your house is. White's probably going to look good. My house is white, which is why I did the stain. Um, one on my house because like my little sign I made yesterday or that was two days ago and then I showed it to you again yesterday but I wanted to take a picture of it but y'all it is raining so much here um, and not just that it was so dark outside yesterday that like walking through my house you practically had, had, had to have a light on to see even with our windows open um, so I haven't got to take a picture of it today, and it's still kind of dark outside today. So we'll see if I can take a picture of it today. If not, um, I will definitely be taking a picture tomorrow. It's, it's such a sunshine because I'm trying to go to the pool. My friend has a pool, and it's revolutionary. If you have a pool, I'll be your friend. Um, it's just amazing. I love floating pool. I was talking to her about this today. That's why Tara's my friend because she has pool. Um, it's just like serotonin, man. Like, I guess your vitamin D probably does have something to do with your serotonin production. And I just happy in a great mood um, after I've been at the pool. All right, I'm going to grab my glue because I try to be that girl that does it start to finish. And I might even have a staple in the back. <coughs> Do we still sell uh, the gun and just all this stuff? Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do. So I'm going to flip this over. Hopefully, I'm not landing on any paint. If I am, we'll fix it. I'm kind of watching the wood grain um, on the other side for straight. All right, and so I'll put it at the top. Thank you. I pull it tight because I don't want it to stack. And then I'll do this probably enough where there's like um, five. Might have ran out of staples. I did run out of staples. If you have these staples on, you just push this little thing, it pulls out. Staples go up. Boom. All right. Anyways, I did this where I have like that's four, five strings. And then I always lay my last string back over. Staple it. And then cut. And then make sure as I, and then like when it hangs, it's not sagging. 
Now, I'm gonna get my wood glue. And you guys know I like to recommend wood glue and hot glue because the hot glue will hold your piece in place while the wood glue dries. So I don't have hot glue here. Something I need to remedy. There's really nothing I, no reason I shouldn't have a hot glue on here. I thought there's one somewhere, probably. I would think so too, but. He's on a clock with the wallet going to the drugstore. Mom's money. Oh, you're doing that, I'm sure I'm going to call you the clearance selection. Uh, the uh, semi-finished cross kit pieces and uh, also those iron embellishments that we showed yesterday. Crosses yeah, guys, if you ever want to see what we've got going on, you can always go to our website and look under new arrivals. We're pretty much add stuff, what, every day? Miss yeah. you know, Murphy, I think she's a, a gorilla wood glue sales rep. That's the third time she said that. Guys, I know. Okay, but you know the thing? I don't remember the last time I went to Walmart. So it's just a matter of me getting to Walmart. And that just don't sound fun. I mean, especially for the longest time. You had to wear a mask in there. They don't do that anymore. We're not under a mask mandate in the Louisiana. I think it's going to that. Except if you go to TGMX, I'm making sure you do. Oh, really? They didn't yesterday, but it, I think it depends on who's working. Um, we went somewhere at the beach. We went into um, the American Eagle, and they were like outside, like, do you know what you want? And we were like, no. They were like that at, in New Orleans when we were there <laughs> months ago. At Louis Vuitton, they were, they were standing outside. Like, and it's like, do you know what you want? And I'm like, mm. Well, I, I haven't been inside, so and they're like, "Well, do you know if you're going to need to try something on?" I'm like, again, no, I, I do not understand this question. Um, so whatever. Michaela says she needs one of these. B and Mimi said, "I'm excited. The prices are going down. I hope it's industry wide. I want to build a deck and they put without rates." Yeah, I'm not. I, what's up? We'll make it out of India. We'll help you out. I have heard that <laughs> a lot of these wood places. Okay, I don't want to say that. I'm thinking it's not looking great, guys. Apparently, there's a lot of things we're about to see a shortage on. Plastic. I've heard that we're about to have to start bringing our own bags to Walmart because there's plastic shortage. Um, pine is pine plywood and other plywoods are not going down in price. They're going way up. It's way good. up. I had to price quote some stuff that we cut out of. Actually, that circle that she's cutting on, we cut mainly two different types of pine. This white pine is what we call it, and then yellow pine. The yellow pine is like $69 a sheet, and that's for us. It's like... Oh, so it's, yeah. yeah. It's ridiculously expensive. Um, um, and I don't know if you know that meat is about to be outrageous because apparently a large percentage of our meat is from Brazil, and they got cyber attack. All of the cow plants and whatever. What are you reading? Where? <laughs> I'm for real. Really? Yeah, I'm for real. Miss Christine, where? Where my? Where my? She uh, <laughs> she's so matter of fact. This is probably what we're gonna do. Uh, pineapple does not belong on pizza. Oh, uh, you were about to win too. <laughs> I think it was she just. I don't know. I mean, Fun, but... honestly, too, there's like dessert pieces. Is there really anything that doesn't belong on pizza now? Miss Sarah Query asked, how long does it take to ship outside Christmas stuff? I want to get one and want to make sure I have any time enough for the holidays. Miss Sarah, our processing time, doesn't matter if it's uh, pine, MDF, whatever it is, is one to two business days. We get one pretty quick, uh, then plus transit time, that depends on where you live. So, yeah, and during place, the holidays, uh, it could be three to seven business days. It could be a little bit longer, but right now. But um, I think you order two weeks in advance, you're going to be good. All right, guys, here I am finished. I'm not going to really be able to hold it up for long because it'll kind of slide. So get a good look. Good look. Let's pick some winners. Let's talk about the hole first. I was talk about the, the hole. hole. 
44% said yes, delicious. 36% said no way. 20% never tried it, so those would probably be yes, delicious people. Also. I'm sorry, what was the numbers again? I was reading the comment. It's 44 on the yes, they eat it on the pizza. Uh, 36 said no way. So roughly a third. Uh, I will say the 20% What I would like to know about the 36% like people is um, <laughs> if you've never tried it and you just are adamantly against it. I feel like about half of you probably fall under that category. I have a winner on Facebook. Um, I mean, Instagram, excuse me. I've never seen her comment before. R Hick 5. Uh, R Hick 5. Um, please email us admin at build a cross.com. We just need your shipping address. And yeah. if you want um, this to be the same as your uh, shipping address, um, then that's how we'll send it. If you want to change it, if you want to gift it or something, just uh, let us know the address you want. Yeah. Um, I can't look that I up guess we're going to get Simmons Wormeyer, Christine Wormeyer. Oh, I can do that. Christine Wormeyer, please email us admin at build-a-cross.com. We just need your shipping address. And also, if you want to use um, your shipping address for the address on the sign. And that is all today. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Who knows what we're paying? We'll figure it out then. <laughs> it's going to be something. It's not our Hick 5. I call her a Hick, I guess. I didn't mean to. It's Re C5. One year. R H I Re C5, not our Hick. Oh. I wasn't calling you Hick. I hope you don't think that. Surely you guys um, <laughs> are not easily offended around these parts because that would be terrible. Miss no. Re C5. What's the most bad? I think I've only offended somebody <laughs> one time, and I was talking about my she she's from Texas. It's fine. Georgian yeah, accent, yeah. Yeah. and because people are like, oh, are you from Georgia? And I guess Georgia must be the epitome of Southern. And I said I must sound like a redneck, yeah, and yes. they got they got mad. Whenever I went somewhere, it was always Texas. They always thought I was from Texas. Well, see, even Texas, they're like, oh, are you from Georgia? And I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm from Louisiana. Even oh. farther south. Even further south than um, Georgia. You need to pitch the BAC home live also. Oh, yeah, guys. Today, um, the BAC home, that's my sister and friend Sarah. I did the Back Home with Sarah and Sarah video. That's today at what time? It's going to be at 1. At 1 o'clock. So go watch them on the BAC home page. Support them. That's our page. It's going to have the finished stuff. So if you guys want to buy something finished, you'll be able to buy it there. Um, eventually, we're hoping to be able to kind of branch out and be able to also have like home decor and stuff. Um, we have some cool wholesalers we'd like to partner with. Um, a lot of stuff we use in our personal homes. So um, make sure to follow those pages, the BAC Home, so that we can um, alert you anytime we do anything new. Don't forget to use my Scarlet 30 code. Don't forget our prices are going down. See you tomorrow. Way down. Way down. That sounds right.